Okay. All right. I normally record the, the meetings for whoever's going to take notes, so I got this new toy, so I'm just going to record it with that. But that doesn't get audio, right? It does do audio. Oh, yeah. yeah. Huh? Fish eye. Yeah, fish eye. My friend has. So I'll put it here. 172 degrees. I mean, 100. Yeah, 100. So once you scoot in that way a little bit. Everybody come in a little bit. Okay, so welcome back to a new year and uh, a new semester of the new school and the Student Film Collective. Um, this is our planning session. And this is. Well, I can also do that. Yeah. Well, I can make this. Yeah, whoever wants to do that. Okay, first, first, first business. We need someone to to handle the meetings, scheduling meetings. Mm -hmm. So I nominate this guy. You want to do meetings? Okay, cool. So you'll schedule the meetings, and I think you should do at least one a month um, in person and maybe one online or whatever. We can decide that later, but at least one a month. Um, so especially during events, if we're having an event, one before, a week before the event in addition to the normal one a month. Because there's, a, you know, there's events coming up that we have, still have to talk about. Um, so everyone, this is Fergal. Hi. And Hello. you know, you know anyone here you don't know? Um, I don't know. This is Nicole. She's our advisor and also our associate director of events. She, she, when we have events, we she's the one to go through to get the space, to contact OSDA, and we as officers sign off on that and. She makes sure that we get our space. So all of the spaces that last semester that we determined that for the events of this semester, we have all our spaces are locked, all the locations are locked. It's just a matter of what we want to do in those spaces and whatever. So how many spaces? I mean, how many dates uh, do we have? Well, I'll look on here. We have about five or six. But we also are collaborating. The not included is the Brazilian Festival coming up on the 29th or 28th. That is, uh, we're just helping out with that. We're, that's not our event, that's their event, but we're, we're getting marquee. We're so, you know, if you look at the thing on Facebook, we're getting credit. Also, another event for, with Melody Gray that is our event, but she's taken care of, is a screening of um, a documentary. When is that? March or April? Uh, April, April 19th. 19th. So we're getting credit for that. So those are events that are already being planned by members and they're already they're gonna be completed, so. Um, so, so those are the things that this, this group needs to worry about unless, you know, if you want to help out on those. But those are already, the Brazilian thing's already planned, the band's already picked out, the food's already picked out. She even went, you know, John, when we went to the meeting, she, she's the one, Amanda. She went and got all the funding for it. All we got to do is get the word out. So um, this year, because last year it was a hassle getting posters printed up and put out because people were tearing them down or putting them up. We're not doing posters anymore. We're going to do all advertisement. Uh, we're gonna follow what uh, what um what's the name of the group? Um, anybody remember Media Study Showcase? Media Showcase. They advertised all semester long. No, you guys. Are, well, students, you guys saw the stuff around campus. Yeah. Well, b they had a big turnout. They did an off-campus event. They had 600 people come out for their show. Wow. So and he didn't do any posters. He did uh, social media and uh, little. Little cards, cards little, little, little like card they're like little square cards, okay. and he left a few here and there, and he did okay. nice video promos, mm. and video Vimeo. I think we should do stuff like that because it's less time for us to design a poster and whatever like that and, and get it's it out there. It, it's related to film. what we're doing. We're not doing print stuff, so. Right. Um, like yeah, and we can Twitter. do targeted ads yeah. with Facebook. We. We if you remember with that we can actually say we want the students from New York at the new school, and we'll pay three cents per click, and that will be our advertising budget. Okay. We can do that too. So, let's talk about the events that we have scheduled. Oh, we can also. Um. When you log into my new school, it shows like different events that are coming up. So like. The new free press. No, it's like a school calendar and it tells you what's All the events. Up. We got to we gotta figure out how to get on there because we we had maybe one event on there since we've been in existence. Who, who deals with that? OSD? I don't know. It probably is Aaron. Yeah, I think if you guys go to Aaron, she might be able to put it into the calendar. Yeah, she, well, she's, 
they put it on their post and sometimes, but it's like, I, to be totally honest, you we I feel I we didn't get really OFDA, full support from them last year. I don't think. I mean, Hold we on. should. We should try to take it out call? a little bit, but I don't even. No, I don't even else. check that. It's right here when you first sign on. That's how I find out what's going on at campus. Yeah, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people do check it. That's how everybody's you find out what's on your going on at campus. I was just talking to a teacher today, and like nobody filled out the. The evaluation. Well, that's that's awesome. do a survey. I filled out my evaluation. <laughs> well, I, I did mine. So but I'm saying nobody. I'm saying that people don't read that stuff. People don't. Uh, you people know. do. I do. Right there. I read it. I mean, the first the thing people that, that you off. want to be involved. Yeah, but read the box. I'm sorry. That's just a small group. You know. You want. But we. But regardless of that, we should be able to be put on that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as a student organization, I mean, we only been in existence for less than well, I guess a year now, right? No, it'll be less than a year still. And we've had how many events and how many people turn out? We have we have a member from every division of the new school. We should be able to be pushed and advertised on every single avenue as possible. And I think we need to have somebody, possibly somebody that can be in charge of that. Who's in charge of advertising? I think Facebook and Twitter would be the safest. Bet. No, we can still do that, but that the other that's free. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. We should take advantage of that. The free press. The radio. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say that. How come we're not? School radio. I don't know paper or not. Like well, we paper. Okay for us. Didn't the interviewers paper pa paper put well, they, the first we had the online thing, yeah. The, the, the paper came out. Hours. The paper came out for that one event, and that hardly anybody turned up. I mean, it was people there, but it wasn't like real five event. It wasn't like our 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 first film show. It was like you, you guys see, you were there. It was like twenty people showed up. We had all that food. You said that um, when we talked about it afterwards that. The USS was there complaining about all that food and not enough people here. So, you know, and they were out for that event and the kickoff. So, and even people in, that were interviewed say, well, we expected more people to come out, but, you know, so it was a little, you know, disappointing for me. It was because, you know, we put a lot of work in preparing for that. But we, we learned our lesson not to do major events within the middle, middle of finals, I guess. Um, I wanted to discuss actually the frequency of uh, events for semester. Okay, go ahead. Um, my suggestion was um, to do like two um, events per semester. End of semester, we could do like a screening. It's like plain and simple, which is. Uh, That's what I was thinking we should do because my show is like small, the, the time period. Okay. And um, then maybe in the beginning of semester, we could do like a small challenge, like a 72 hour uh, mm -hmm. challenge thing or a week or something. I like, like the challenge and I thought it was successful. I think it would have been even more successful. We yeah, have done it sooner, not on that yeah. midterm week. It was, I, I it was a great. Lot of people like, that it was fun to participate. To participate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a lot great. Of people that wanted to go or participate, but they couldn't. Midterms right. held them yeah. back. I mean, yeah. Everybody said, oh, midterms, midterms. Well, we last, our first semester, we had to collect, we only had two events. We had a meet up and the collective shorts film show. And I was going to say, I thought for that last, we should do something like the collective shorts again. Yeah, we well. So I think that, like that, I think that should be our staple end of the semester or end of the year event. The one, the one thing yeah. is uh, when uh, you would sign up for the film challenge, there was a volunteer. Yeah. But then when they would go there, there was no way to like pair up volunteers with you know. I have, I have. To I thought we made it a little either, complicated. Yeah. So either just sign remove up. I think that, just, and it, it, yeah. Just show up with your short. You know, like show up on the Friday like we did. Yeah, I kind of I kind of went. I kind of went. Because I I used forty eight hour film project as a template to build it, and it, it was too much. You're right; it was too much information. So maybe a basic sign up. You want to participate? Come to this, and then come we to. This. Well, I was thinking this year we this time we can do a we can do a virtual kickoff. Not a not. They don't have to physically be present. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, but I, I was thinking, like, you could start the semester with a meetup and then notify everybody about, okay, this is going to happen. And then in, a, um, in week three or four or something like that, that's when we have the challenge. Yeah. Well, the only thing is, is um, <coughs> um, the, we don't, the space, he, it's very difficult because sometimes we have to wrap around our events about, our, depending on when we can get space. We have to basically reserve our space, like, a semester ahead. Right. So. And this year there was a shit. There was no spaces available in May, and a crap load available in April. Mm -hmm. So we have, you know, most of the events that that I showed you are in April. Our last event, which is at the Collective Shorts Film Show, is April 30th. Because there's no, there's nothing available in May unless we do it on a weekend. 
And I don't know about you, but nobody's going to want to come back to campus on a Saturday. I mean, that's what the general consensus when we well, first started. What are we talking about? So Woman. You're saying that uh, Media Lang. Studies had an off-campus event. But they funded it themselves. They went out and raised them. He, he raised $4,000 to own Kickstarter. Like, why don't we just try? Yeah, we could try that, but it's like, ha who's going to do and it? And we only, we only do events in those spaces? Only Be those two? Because those are enough to you know, the hold people. You know, what the expected turnout that we're expecting. Except for the last two. <coughs> so what dates do we have right now? All right. Yeah, what are the dates? But there's like other to screen things, like we could screen in um, here. Yes, it's, no. it's like a movie theater. Oh, no, I'm sorry. There's the Parsons Building. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's, there's Kellen Auditorium. You can't get it. Kellen well, Auditorium. Kellen, yeah, a lot, a lot of these spaces are already booked and plus the university also rents them out to outside people. <coughs> yeah. So there's a lot of events that, that people are paying we, from outside. We try to get commons. Yeah. It's, it's not available. A lot of spaces are just not available. And this is not suitable. Uh, someone suggested not for screening. why not but for an outdoor meetup. screening outdoor screening, yeah. but we can't do it in the courtyard. Where can we do it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's I mean, Anthony, Anthony here has a projector, I mean, but we still. we can. If we go to <coughs> the it's not going to be a wall of this tree. Just, just I'm saying for a meetup, because we could do a screening in April 30th, because it means we're going to show. That's the end of the semester yeah. date. So it's that should be this month. Yeah, we, screening. yeah, that's not well, a problem, but when it comes to meetup, um, we can do it outside. You can't, you can't have events in, in the courtyard. Just like. Oh, no, not at all? Why not? Because the, the noise will disturb the classes. And what about here? In here you could, but the, everybody books this space. Mm -hmm. This, this space is so popular. Yeah. Do we not have a space for the meetup this semester? Yeah, we have all our spaces booked. Yeah. Mostly Woman Hall, we Tree Plan. Like so we went at events. Could you yeah, hold on. talk about it? How many how many um, events did we have last last year last semester I'm sorry? Well, a lot of them, at the end we canceled uh, like three or four of them I think. We but had how spaces. How many were they? Four. We what was our first event last semester? Meetup. 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 That that was pretty successful even though. Meetup. The real five. Real five was super. We had over 360 people there. Then after that was the it was the was the uh, seventy two hour kickoff and the <coughs> Killer Film Festival. And then we had nothing after that except we for had him. A block party, didn't we? Yeah, but that wasn't our event. Oh, by the way, thanks for reminding me. There's a spring welcome back to school spring thing on the thirty first of January for all the student organizations. Oh yeah. We're being asked to participate in that. I think we should. And I think people should sign up for shifts. Yeah. Just for fairness, because at the last block party. Yeah. And it wasn't fair that some people got stuck there for the whole block party. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So, um, first of all, do we want to do it on January 31st? We're going to we're going to hit all the new students and all the new, yeah, and, yeah. and that's where we got a lot of our membership last time. So let's do it on the January 31st. They're going to give us, uh, by the way, they're going to give us an extra hundred dollar food voucher for having an event in in uh, February, which is the 24th, which is our meetup day, and it's a Friday. Let me get the dates. Are we like taking official votes on this, like, or for we just saying like we, we can we can yeah, yeah or, or is it like let's let's put it out there and see who who can if these are feasible. Now we. I, I preliminary talked over with Farago about some of these events. Like we don't have to have a separate screening for the 72 hour and the and the collective and the seven day doc. We can just have the challenges virtually launch them and then have everybody show them on one day at the collective short film show. And then because if there's four people that do the document challenge and four people that do the 72 hour challenge, and then a half a dozen people, 12 people that want to show films at the collective short film show, that's enough to, to have a show, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so let me, I'm still looking for this, it's in the offices group. Now just to let you know, we were pretty overzealous when we, when we set, when we started these, uh, when we set up these events because we needed to get space, so we had to put 
down what we wanted in order to get the space. Yeah. So do you remember when we had this screen, the very first yeah. screening? Remember how many people left because it was so long? No. You know why those people left? Because that person that they were there for showed in the beginning. That's why they left. Mm. That yeah. happens a lot. That, that's what happened. The half that people yeah. were in the beginning were there, drank all the wine, and then sh after <laughs> what's her name I showed, mean, and they were out. That's what happens in every Yeah. yeah. So, it's always good to have, like, but you gotta figure out who long. those people are and make sure yeah, that, a lot of that films. film goes in. It was a lot of film. Well, here's. Well, I think there should be a pre-selection process, definitely, and I think it should be finished films rather than works in progress. I think we can use other times during the semester for works in progress, for like our own rough cuts, kind of, like our own feedback. Or, see, well, my idea of, of that first film show was to put the stuff online, people to see, get feedback, and then vote on their favorites so we can choose, but no one did that. Well, I don't think most people will have their projects done in April. That's the other thing. So we would have to start showing. Like well, I, I guess we'll take. Well, I guess we'll have to address that when that when the time comes. But some people have midterm projects that they've completed. Like, some people also have projects on their film. own, though. Not usually for film. Usually, film films are usually done a semester long, and then at the end of the semester. Yeah, that's why I was thinking about doing yeah. doing the screening in the end of semester. But every film every film festival or event usually has a section for people who are showing works in progress. I think that that's, that's valuable because people do want to kind of get their work out there, get it seen, and possibly get it funded. So you never know. Okay, here are the list of confirmed spaces and what we originally planned for the event. They're not, just know that these dates, these times, and these spaces are ours. Okay, we can do whatever we want with them. One of the spaces that we had, we gave to um, the graduate conference because they needed it for their so, you know, it was April 13th, so we gave it to them. So they could have their keynote, uh, was Woolman, so we gave it to them. It's not on this list. Okay, so the 24th, which is a Friday of February, from 8 to 11 in Woolman is the... Wait, to 8 to what? 11. Okay. Is the meetup. I had, my idea for this last, this last semester was a showcase type of people. So people, if you're an actor, you can come in and have a little wall set up to show your acting stuff, whatever, or a musician or whatever, or... And everyone should bring business cards. Business they cards. Should, they should come prepared to... Network. To network. Yeah. So maybe it could be a, rather than, yeah, showcase yourself by meeting people. Okay, so after that is um, April 10th. No, March 10th. Oh, March. And this is the, the, the black cinema uh, panel that we were talking about. This, this is a Saturday from 12 to 8 and the, and the 11th on the Sunday from 12 to 10. Now, so you that, want to explain this one? That's the, uh, well, okay, so we just, we, we came up with the idea of having a black cinema event, especially because Michelle Mater, who's one of the advisors in, in the School for Media Studies, um, uh, has an event called Mix, Remix and Remaster, and it all has to do with like uh, films by, by people of color of other countries and, and nationalities and stuff and getting their work out there. They have panels for different, depending on different subjects and stuff. And so we wanted to sort of attach onto that that weekend and sort of have that be an extension for the black cinema. However, Joseph and I have been kind of throwing the idea back and forth that we should make it maybe make it more along the lines of just people of color, you know what I mean? So that it's more inclusive of yeah. other, you know, cultures. other cultures, you know, Hispanic cultures and, you know, like everything. So anyone could submit, you're Indian, you're Filipino, anybody can submit. Maybe we could, remember the idea that we spoke about, as it, said we just calling it the Latin Film Festival, Hispanic Film Festival, having a multi Multicultural, multicultural film festival. Yeah. Maybe that's when we can do that. I think that that probably would be more inclusive of everyone and every type of film, especially films in other languages. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and aside from that, we can make the, the like the panels more. Sub we can we can we can break those down into certain subjects. So we can have like a black cinema panel, well, and we can have a, a Latino. Latino. They call it the you know. International Film Festival or something like that. Yeah. yeah. 
It's because it's good. International film. We the new school it. international. International film. Yeah. Student film collective international. Yeah. Well, that's too many. Yeah, yeah but. You were at the SFC or SFC or International, international Film Festival. Festival. <laughs> <laughs> you just tag whatever you what want. Do you uh, from North how about, how about, how about, well, let's, let's understand there's a difference between nations and culture. Right. So maybe have, calling it the multicultural film festival is more inclusive because it, no, rather it than right. Nigeria, it doesn't matter if you're from Nigeria. Because I know people, Amanda Ruza is Italian, but she's from Brazil, you know. Right. But she, you know, she gets stuff Brazilian. So there's, so leaving it like that is more open and it's not, there's no like political boundaries. Yeah, so, that's what I wanted to erase. Yeah, let's erase that. political it's boundaries. Multicultural film festival, festival. Uh, international. Than international. International means across yeah. the globe. Yeah, to yeah. me it's also <laughs> International means but you're not bound by this like one this. country. But, 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 but if you say international, <laughs> then people could assume that it only it's means films that aren't are international. Yeah, that are not. Oh. No, international means and, and all also abroad. Those, and also, I think the International Film Festival is like... It's just so in America, there's so many of them. But here, in America, if that you have true. one that's called an International yeah. Film Festival, there aren't any American films in it. It's yeah, it's only all going to be abroad. French, well, listen, Chinese, well, whatever. At this Multicultural seems to be encompassing of all, co of all right, countries, all right languages, all colors, all races. We could be the Benetton of film, of film festivals. Oh, that's right. <laughs> hey, listen. Something so shocking. <laughs> the issue right now is not the name. The issue is that do we want to do this event? It, it would be a two-day event. It would be basically tacked on, not tacked on, but it would, it would, the thing about it, Michelle Mater is very well connected. Yeah. Um, she brings in, I, I was part of Remix Remastered. I was one of the, one of the panelists in one of the workshops and we had enormous turnout. Okay. Um, I mean, there was press there. There were, I mean, there was certain like semi-celebrities and I think that if we do it in, in, in conjunction with, you know, with Michelle, we'll get a tremendous turnout. I think we should do it plus a, a shitload of crap load of exposure. For the film collective, it's true, and we can even go viral. I'm kidding. But so um, we should we should put the name Student Film Collective there. Yeah, big time, in conjunction with or in the festival of the film collective, like the one festival that we do. Yeah, right, so we, our, we, our we staple. We basically want people to to stay pretty much the whole weekend to keep coming back, almost like a Tribeca film festival. Well, we have like. Last one yeah, it's Saturday and Sunday. It's Saturday and Sunday. And they have Friday and Saturday. So, and we have Teresa Lang. Yeah, we have Teresa Lang. Which so, is where Remix and Remaster is going to be. Yeah, and it's the, more central That's the 10th and, and the 11th of March. We'll have more it's a Saturday and Sunday. The both The first day is 12 to 8, Saturday and then Sunday is 12 to 10. Now that event would be the only event that I would say that you would want to order posters. Post. Okay. So because yeah. you, you want to have those on the glass doors, you want to have yeah. those. We just don't need to order. That you don't need to order no. many. No. You can order like five posters, but you definitely want to do that because people walking by on the street will come in and say, "What's what's this? Is the film festival going on?" Yeah. So we want to we want to give it a bit of fanfare because we want to give it that sort of. I hate to keep referencing it, but that Tribeca Film Festival feel where right. you can kind of stroll in and we have the schedule. Oh, you're going to be showing this at this time. You're going to be showing that. And this, this film is from, you know, a Brazilian filmmaker, and this one's from a Dominican filmmaker. And okay, so I'm going to show up for that, and I'm going to show up for this workshop. So you have people that can that they're not going to stay necessarily the whole day and watch everything, but they'll, you know, they'll come, come in back. Watch, they'll right. come in and out. They'll go, you know, back and forth. Okay. So it's also the idea on. of one. Brandis. Um, I'm for trying to have this, but even the people in the design aren't enough to like pull it off. So I'd like to make a proposal uh -huh. um, that in order for people to participate in screenings, like to have their film screen, that they have to volunteer for at least one event throughout the semester. And that way people will have the help that you need. Uh -huh. And it, um, I don't know, th there won't be as many people flaking out on you because people do want to show their stuff. Right. And we all have a responsibility to the organization, not just the people who are sitting here, in my yeah. opinion. How my, okay, let's think about, that's well, a great idea, how would we implement that? Because remember, we want to keep this simple, as we don't want to gel it. <laughs> so, so I think that they want to keep it simple. Some, it's a good idea, at the same time, I turn off some people. So maybe 
volunteering gives you certain uh like privileges that you want to be like you could still show but if you volunteer maybe you have like you know well i think we should make a condition of membership not like they're not rec like if they're going to show a film like you got to if you're if you're going to like it's like a give something get something right? right it's like because right now everybody's just taking and not giving I mean, that, and that's why I wanted to change the model of this because remember before I said, well, the film, film collective is about people coming together, sharing resources. There's people that join just to get people to work on the film and you don't see them again. <laughs> right. So now I changed it. Well, hey, now when you come to the collective, it's, if, you wanna, if you want help, you, it's, it's up to you and that person if you're going to pay them or not. I mean, we're out of it. So no longer do they have to volunteer so the skills or the volunteering. Right. Like they have to sign up to help at an event. So either they have to come and early set up the tables, help somebody get the food, be a part of the planning process in some capacity, they have to help make the things happen. So you pick a day that works for you. There has to be one event that yeah. you throughout the semester that you can help at. Or something. Maybe you can't come on that day, but maybe you can help out the next to the event. planning meeting before you can maybe you can't stay be there at six o'clock, but maybe at four o'clock you can help somebody set the chairs up like no? Maybe put up some flyers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So, so here's so the thing: the flyers would be more like that in Brooklyn. Man. You go all around. Brooklyn. I think people are like, oh, I'm showing my film, so I'm people I want to hand out flyers. Yeah, but no, but more isn't than, a good that. Is, but we don't want them. Okay. We don't want them. We have an event. Who's like? Who's going to work at it? Who? Well, well, but that's why we have those points. tasks, right? We have those names and stuff. Basically, Joe if you wear the title, you do that part. The event. And so does Brandis. Right. Yeah. yeah. But that, like, she said it's set up. Yeah. Set up. You and I have pretty much done everything. We ordered the And food. that's not fair. Right, it's, right. it's not, but people are not interested really in helping. I mean, honestly, everyone's busy and they're like, I got stuff to do. I got a life. I got school. I got this. I got that. I honestly don't feel that people are going to show up and help unless they're really committed to being part of it and they really want to do it. And that's I, I don't see I people showing up. I think if you up. offer some sort of incentive, you know, like well, the incentive is is that being you, a part of the community, being part of the, the collective. Yeah. I mean, like you don't have to be part of the collective. You can and making well, you know, as filmmaker, if you volunteer, you get a, a shirt, for example. Even well, I think I, I think I think kinda, uh, we could do shirts. I, I think. Which I never got my shirt. You didn't get your shirts? I have a box of them at my house. Trust me, you'll I, get them. I, I think um, a, a way that we can make people, and I'm saying this because last semester I couldn't participate in almost anything or nothing at all, and I'm part of the community. Um, maybe a way that we can uh, make people participate. We, uh, in events, we have a table, and they sign up, and they say, they check you know, the case where it says, do you want to be part of the community? Yeah. So, you know, what happens to those forms? Do we ever call these people again? Do we, because sending them an email, it's, listen, yeah. it's great, but when you get five emails, you know, you just well, ignore them well, well, and, and, and put them in, in spam. Here's you know. part of the problem is that we all have officers. And there's supposed to be several officers for the Student Film Collective. I'm a uh, the, uh, the officer of special events. events. We're supposed to have one for advertising. We're supposed to have one for recruitment. We're supposed to have none of the officers have done, hardly any of the officers have shown up, done anything, or done their jobs. We need to pick new officers and they need to actually do something. That's the problem. You know, we need to give them tasks. Like, who's the treasurer? Who's the historian or something? Or secretary? Like everyone decided they wanted to have a title, and no one has shown up to meetings. No one has. Well, done we all, I think we only so, have. I mean, maybe. I think it's both things. Some people they just you know they showed up and then they never did anything. But then there's some people. Not everybody has the initiative or the you know to figure out what they have to do on their own, and they kind of like waited around for instructions. There was no follow-up, no nothing, yeah. and boom. And I mean, it, and then it, it involves us sitting down and coming well, out, and we don't always have the time. Well, 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 th well see, this is, this, well, is, this is my issue. When Joe first approached people to be officers, he said, you want to do it, this is what the job is, I need you to write your job description, hand it in to me by a certain time, we post it, and you check in, and you come to the meetings, and we discuss what your task would be. Has anyone given you a job description? Uh, Aside from me and John? No. No. Okay. Has, have any of these officers shown up to any of the meetings aside from the original meeting that we had? Well, we didn't have really have a meeting after that, did we? 
Mm-hmm. But the whole point is, no one showed up. No one Except followed nobody up. Nobody showed no one... up to the photo shoot. Either. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it was just you. You know time. what I mean? Like, yeah. I people see. love getting titles, but yeah. it's the follow through. Mm-hmm. But that's what I'm saying that everyone, the follow through will come in having to. It's mandatory that you participate in some capacity in something. And if there's only 10 people that show a film, that 10 people participated, I don't see how that's unfair. No, that's not unfair. No, I agree that I think members should help them participate and they should help set things up. But I feel like we should have a set, a set, uh, a group of officers and they actually do their job. Like you shouldn't be trying to make posters and do this and do that when you've got classes and. You know what I'm saying? When we have an officer that should be doing that, mm-hmm. that that's their task. So that no one has too much work, everyone, the work is equally distributed because each person has a task. My task was to basically to set up the events. I set up the events, I do the catering, I show up, I help set up, and I, I don't have to stay for the whole event, but I usually do. So, I mean, if I had someone else helping me, it would be so much easier. You see what I'm saying? I have to fill out all the paperwork, which is fine. I accepted that job. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't just accept the job and just say, well, I'm just going to be special events coordinator and I'm not going to do anything. I accepted the job and I do my job. Where are the rest of the officers and why are they not doing their jobs? And if they're not, let's get new officers and have people sign up that really want to do the job. Mm -hmm. And if they're not doing the job, we contact them and say, well, you're not going to be officer anymore because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Okay, you know so what I'm yeah, let's hold people accountable. accountable. Yeah. I've been going to a food co-op in Brooklyn. There's over like ten thousand members yeah. in the sixteen years. Anyway, the thing is, we have a mission statement. So if you guys had like a statement, oh, we do. On, yeah, but you need to include what she's saying. It sounds it sounds practical because like you can't you got to make it that people understand this isn't a free for all. Right. right. Like in the food co-op, if you miss a day's work, you got to make it up and yeah, they make you, you do, do a double. Yeah. So I'm in this 16 And years. then after a while, if you don't make your shift, you're out. You, you you're out. And that's how they do it. Yeah. I mean, I hate to be like a dictator, but unfortunately, look, every I'm a very limited person. What I could do, I what I'm what I could do, I'm good at doing. So I would like to bring that to this, like maybe postering and stuff like that. Like Joe but was that saying, that makes anyone, sense. Yeah, if everyone does so a little something, then yeah. it all gets done. Yeah. So if you write that in a statement, when people join, they're gonna they're gonna understand, like, oh wow, this isn't just about me taking it's about me also giving you know you don't have to have a hammer and sickle as your yeah, logo I don't wanna, but, but you know you, you can, I don't I don't want people have to do that that's, 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 so, so, so my issue is that my issue also is that we seem to sign up a lot of members that we never see or hear from or we never I contact think, but that's what I'm saying we need to be a little bit more selective well, we had a, in who uh, signs up to be part of the student well, well no we can't because as a as a student organization we have to accept membership from everyone they have to, I mean we're a student organization on campus right but we don't have to solicit everyone to be a member is what I'm saying well, I, what is a good part actually what what do you mean to just sign up every time to be a member to become a member well the mission statement clearly it states that you know it's it's in order to build community. I mean, I mean you know you guys, you know as well as I do. It's about the connections you make, the people yeah. you know. Like I mean, I agree. me, you and John and and Suzette, we can go to anywhere. And I mean the people we know and say, hey, listen, I got this film. I need this person, and this, this, and this, and we got a crew, right? That's what the collective is about. It's about getting people to get work on your film, to work on you, work on their film, getting the experience while here, and. So that way, when we do graduate, we don't have to do some cheesy internship. We have experience already. We got films. We got a reel already. Well, my, my whole thing is, I think it's great. I think your idea is great. But I don't think that we have to, every person that shows up to an event does not have to be a student film collective member, is my reasoning. Yeah. yeah. Only people that are really interested in working as a collective oh, you want to know really you know You want to know the reason. the reason. I want to know the reason. I, don't, I want to know why I have to do it every time. Like I didn't understand that. Oh, because we. Sign oh, why you have to sign into oh, the event? Sign in. that's oh, that's just you. That's to show our numbers. That's to show our numbers. That's to prove. And also to show okay. which members actually show up to events. Yeah, that's stuff. that's to prove that the money that they're re- getting is yeah. to justify the funds we're getting. Okay. No, I didn't understand that. Yeah. I think that the way that we know how like how interested these people are on on becoming a, a member is if we actually do call them. Well, see, the thing is, like a lot of I don't know about calling because I've, I've, I've called people 
and well, I got my voicemail. Email anyway, you know, like something that is talking.